near to expiry when at the end of the end of 2010 next summer come the january transfer market uh, all of a sudden he can negotiate contracts freely with alternate clubs and and Lazio unfortunately and we're going to lose out basically gets gets nothing in return because if he signs a contract with somebody in january that'll start in 2010 like i said we no they're not on the hook for any of that money it's it's exactly. ba- it's, it's basically all, a free transfer and all we have to do is just keep that guy happy for one more year we could have cashed in on him and uh you know we could have brought in you know two or three quality players which this team desperately needs right now and and teams aren't eager to jump at at lotito's asking price because they know in less than a 12 months they could they could easily jump with the best of them offering big contracts uh, to Goran. And that's what I'm afraid uh, is going to happen with uh, Zarate. I mean, you know, he's probably one of the best talents, possibly, arguably, uh, the best talent in Serie A right now. And, uh, you know, is it his dream really to, to play alongside players like Baronio, Sevilla, Cribari, you know, Dabo, Brocchi? I mean, these aren't players that are at, that are at his standard. Absolutely, and you can see it on the field. He has a, a tendency not to dish the ball out to these kind of players. Yeah, he obviously ha- doesn't have confidence in his uh, in his teammates. Yeah, aside from the odd pass to Matuzalem, who seems to be like his twin out there. But yeah, uh, uh, that's exactly what it is. And and now, hopefully, we pray that some sort of agreement can be made with Ledesma and maybe some sort of parting agreement with Pandev cuz it's it's he's pretty much resigned to not playing with us again. I think we've seen the last of number 19 in the Bianco Celeste, but once it, like once again I said they won't be in the Europa League. So we've thrown our hands up already to the season from now till January with a strong Juventus squad on the horizon after a week of international duty. I can only hope that a string of that string of luck we've produced continues or we find uh, a way to come up with some sort of agreement you know, with the, this newly acquired transfer money for Ledesma. Well, I'll be resigned to ma- watching uh, this match away from the sunny beaches of Cuba. But, you know, follow along with your friends on the LazioForever.com website, your, your official live game chat room that you've uh, established, which kudos to you on that. That was a Thank wonderful. You. I, I enjoyed that. It's, it's a good spot because, you know, people around the world can talk as the game's actually going on. Yeah, it's a it's a great forum. I mean, I'm on there every day, and you know, I think we're over 700 members now from you know all over the map. I think we even have a map on there, so you can see where everybody's kind of coming from. Uh, with respect to Lazio Club Canada, I don't know, Mike, if you know about our derby coming up on. Oh, how would I not? Number. Come on, <laughs> it's something that uh, you know the Lazio uh, Club Canada members look forward to every year. Uh, this year, it's going to be on uh, Sunday, September 27th at 5 p.m. at the Woodbridge College Field, and. Uh, uh, you know, we're probably going to want to get there about uh, 45 minutes before the game starts, kind of just to warm up, you know, meet the other players and kind of get a formation going. And that is the positive news that is today because, you know, I want to leave everybody with some positive statements today because it's not all bad. Regardless of how embarrassing our situation might get, I can say wholeheartedly that this is the year we finish higher in the standings than La Merda. That is for sure who announced Claudio Ranieri today as their new head coach. Big yep. deal there. Uh, and an even more bold statement, I'd like to say on the 27th, Magica Roma Club of Toronto, we're coming for you for back-to-back wins. Crepe la lupo. <laughs> Dan and myself, of course, will be there on the 27th. Uh, any other notes we should pass along besides that? Yeah, visit our forum, latioforever.com, and, uh, you know, give, give a shout-out. Yeah, we know you know who we are. You, uh, we want to meet you. If you ever want to come on the show, uh, obviously, northcurve.com, and obviously across the forums, you can find us there. We're always looking for new fans to give their input. Dan, it was a pleasure. Thanks for being on and, and sharing some of this insight with me. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks for having me. It's a lot. There it is. <laughs> Take care, buddy.